Many thanks for joining us on News Now. I am Sinisala Adigun. Residents of Tradmore Estate and its environs in Lube, Abuja, can now heave a sigh of relief following what has been aptly described as a mini tsunami. Last Friday, over 100 houses were submerged while property worth millions of naira were damaged when a flood believed to be occasioned by a heavy downpour swept across the area. Residents say three bodies have so far been recovered after the devastating flood. Our correspondent, Emeka Amako, visited the scene and files in this report. Debris, litter and fragments are reminiscent of the flood that struck at Trademore and Wisdom Estates as well as River Park, all in the Lube area of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Trademore Estate has over the years had its fair share of devastating flooding with lives lost and huge economic loss. However, 2022 was a reprieve for the occupant of the estate who never had the ugly tale of flooding to tell despite the torrential rainfall recorded during the year. The respite TV360 gathered was due to the re-engineering remediation work by the owner of the estate which ensured the expansion of quarters and demolition of buildings on the waterways. 2023 has so far turned out to be different from the previous eh? year on account of the recent flood which has recorded three deaths. Five, four, Acha, three, a site two, engineer one. may have survived the flood but did suffer what some losses in the wake of its impact. So encourage he witnessed members the incident to always and attributed his survival of to the experience and gathered in the course the of the Institute previous floods in the Newly States. Today, on Friday uh, morning, I came to supervise some of my site as usual. I parked around here and it was raining, not too heavy, drizzling anyway. So to my surprise, I was right inside the estate walking when I heard the volume of the sound of the, 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 the rain coming. I said, ah, what sound is this? When I now peeped to leak outside, what was really happening? There was this storm of uh, water coming, very heavy, and I could not even assess my car any, anymore. When I get down here, I discovered that my car was covered, not only my own car, a lot of cars. And I think from uh, what I saw that day, I saw over there you can see one four OCs parked, blue in color. Somebody, the person driving is an Uber, says to be an Uber driver. He was trying to see how he can escape from the water, but no way. For, unfortunately, we get to understand that he was confirmed dead somewhere and the car is still yet to be identified by the owner. As is the case of floods and other natural disasters where first responders subsist, these local security personnel were handy to provide assistance at the scene of the disaster. It started around 6 a.m. that Friday morning. So gradually we noticed the normal, you know, water must flow through the gutter and it must flow through the bridge. So within just within 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 five to ten minutes, we noticed the water was increasing, increasing gradually. So I was like, "How was happening? What's going on?" So somebody, like one of my colleagues, told me, "Ah, that something like this have happened before. That so we should be careful and to know on how to leave the security post immediately." So it was that I had I, I need to leave this place because they have they've been here for so long. So I ran out. Other people ran out with me. So uh, the other person that, that was trying to run out of the security post also, before I knew it, the water just filled up and covered him inside there. On their part, Hawa Lazarus and Nuruddin Mohammed are calling on the relevant authorities to scale up aid to the flood survivors, just as they seek proactive measures to avoid a repeat of the ugly development. Hawa says she lost property worth millions of naira to the flood, but wondered why measures against flood weren't considered when developing the area. People lost things in millions. Cars were lost, houses, things in the house, lives were lost, you know. So what can you, how much can you pay for a life that is lost, you know? These things are, are things you can actually get and buy, but what about somebody's life? Can you pay? How much can you do you think we can pay for life? So honestly, you can't quantify how much you can pay for this. Many clothes, you know, say Muslim clothes, they are bringing it to Salah clothes, many yard day day. So actually, I can't guess it like that. So, but many things spoil inside. 
you know, get choice. Life pass everything. Findings by TV360 News Crew showed that the floods were caused by infractions on the water channel with the construction of illegal structures. Residents say the Federal Capital Development Authority has a massive role to play in ensuring that buildings on the water channels are demolished.